Alright guys, we went to the bins today. I didn't film anything because we got there and I'm noticing things happening. Things are happening at the bins. What's happening at the bins, Ivan? Everybody's back. Everybody's back, so there's more people at the bins, yeah. more competition, and the bins, like I, I mentioned it in, in a previous video, I went last Thursday and I left with nothing. I After 30 minutes I took off because I wasn't finding anything um, just worth it, you know? So I'm thinking that everybody's back now, all the people that used to go are back, um, so it's going to be stiffer competition as they say. I mean, I, th I feel like there's always stuff there. You just gotta, cause there's so many bins. There. I mean, the thing is that there's stuff, but stuff that's worth. Yeah. That's depending true. on what you do, cause yeah. I'm looking for stuff for eBay now. Uh, I have lots of booth stuff. Like I could have found, I could have got a lot of booth stuff. Yeah. And even, but even though nothing really amazing or anything, it would have been like a lot of dollar bin stuff. So I have tons of that. So I right, right now I'm on I'm on I'm thrifting for eBay, which we want to get anything that makes us between fifteen and dollars and up, you know. Yeah. Um. So as far as that goes, it was it's been it's tough. I mean, it did seem like there was a lot more people today, and it seemed like a lot of the bins were more on the empty side. But yeah, I mean, that's true. A lot of the bins were on the empty side, like like they like they've been sitting there for days or something. I've never seen them that empty before. Yeah. And it was a lot of them. Uh, we did find some stuff, but um, yeah, I mean we got yeah. two bags. Yeah, we got two bags so. of stuff. But uh, yeah, I was there and I was like, ah oh, man, it's gonna happen again. And I was as soon as I walked in and I walked past the first two rows, I was like, oh no. And I started paying attention because I was telling Monique, even the parking lot is like full and it's, it's, you used to be able to park in the front of it, in the front of the bins, mm -hmm. and now you're parking off on the side and there's like, a lot more cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, so I'm guessing we got to figure out a, a, a game plan now. We got to figure out a strategy as to where, you know, a couple weeks ago, you, you used to be able to just go and you'd walk out, you could walk out of there with a basket full, cart full of stuff if you wanted. But I don't know. We'll see. We're, I mean, obviously we're gonna keep going back, um, but we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. It's time to move. That's it. It's time to move to a different part of Texas. Uh, anyways. Anyways, let's I just, get into the haul. I just wanted to talk about. I wanted to put that <laughs> out there. So uh, let me go through the plush first. We'll just knock all these out of the way. Got a Care Bear here. This is a um, 2016. Still has a tag. So Care Bear. Uh, got, when he got this bulldog, this bulldog there, and, um, you know, there was other plush there, but I, it's plush that I have already, and I have multiples of, if it's, if it's a, a bird or a dinosaur or something, I'm not picking up anymore, because I don't, I just don't want to get more if it's not selling, you know? Yeah. So, when he found this one also, this is 1992, actually, this is vintage penguin right here. It's a pretty nice penguin. And got a vintage um, Big Bird. Big Bird. Got this unicorn here, and it's actually Build a Bear. Oh. I gotta look into that. I've never seen these before. That's so like got, Rainbow here. Yeah. Then got Monique got the. Remember these from comic book? Is it from non comic strip? Non sequitur? Non sequitur? I don't know. I, don't I think know. that's what it's from. A little it's penguin not... from a comic strip. I, I'm mm -hmm. not sure. Another penguin. That one's cute though. Look how pudgy he is. He's so cute. I uh, got a squish mallow here. Uh, got this. We actually actually picked this one up before we walked out. Another uh, build a bear with, um, with and clothes. And also pants. Cool little Toki Doki rainbow um, unicorn. Another build a bear. Uh, this one the tag was cut off. Oh. When he got this Kirby here, so that's cool. She got this ham puppet. It's Dakin also. Does this go Vintage. to it? Yeah, it goes in there. Oh yeah, it does. It has so a little chupon. It has a pacifier. Monkey with a pacifier. It's a baby. You can tell there was some other, some kid chewing on this. Ew, Evan. There is. It's all chewed on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, what? I didn't notice that. 
<laughs> and then this uh, like beanie bo beanie bear style a uh, little bear but it's uh, a Lucy bear cool little like Lucy bear has a tag on it so that's pretty cool Monique found that also and then I found this guy here this penguin see that look at the colors on that yeah, it's you're cool. so cool and it's from 1992 determined products oh, it's applause oh I need to see the tag it's applause um, Oh, so it's for World Wildlife Foundation. Applause, 1992. At first, I thought it was a penguin from, like, the Batman movie. Oh. Uh, I was like, ooh, this is a cool penguin. But, like, the colors are awesome on that. And I think I saw that this goes for, like, 30 bucks. So, so that's pretty cool. So, that's it for the plush. Where, where we go, what, what's over there? What's on your side? Oh, lots of different things, you know. I found a set of these placemats. Uh, looks like they're reversible. I got a set of six and they're by World Market. So I figured maybe it goes with that boho style that's trendy right now. Um, yeah, I, I, got, got that. I got this. It's uh, Mike Judge's um, Beavis and Butthead, the complete collection. And he even has um, the movie, Beavis and Butthead to America. It's missing two CDs though, or two DVDs I should say. But the rest are all there. So I thought that was cool. Uh, Monique said she wanted to start riding horses. So I, I found <laughs> her this riding horse riding helmet at the bins. I thought, I've never, I don't know, it just looks... It's crazy to I, see one. I person. kept going back and forth. I was like, nah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to take it. Uh, but it looks like well made. That's the thing. It looks well made. It's, yeah, it's like it's, velvet. It's in, it's in, it is in a bad condition. It's in pretty good condition. The only thing is that it's missing its straps. Oh. So it'll like hold on to your chin, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I figured I'd bring it with me and just kind of do a little research on it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, this is like, this is fun. Like. This is part of the fun about picking is we finding new things and kind of just learning about them. Yeah. And when I do, I like to have the item because then I remember things. I was like, oh, this hat doesn't have this or doesn't have that. So then it's 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 easier for me to um, learn that way. I got to do hands on, hands on. But yeah, so uh, it has a little bow on the back. It's all black, though. Mm. Yeah, so we, I got that. Uh, I found this napkin holder. I think it's like cast iron and it has like a red coating on top. It's by, it's from Target originally. But I just thought it was like nice and heavy duty and it has all the little rubber feet on it still. And then I found this. I'm really excited about this. This is a leather purse by the brand Brighton. So they do a lot of things with like this little heart. Um, I think that's their logo is the heart. Um, and it has a little, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's a heart on the front and then there's a lot of like little detail on the actual, um, on the hardware. And then the inside looks like that. It's really clean on the inside. Um, and it has another little, let me get close to the camera. Hold on. Okay, so the inside of the purse looks like that. The zipper pull has this cool little charm on there also. And then on the inside is where it says Brighton. So that's what it looks like. So this goes for about 25 bucks on eBay. Yeah, so I was really excited to find this. This is awesome. Is Brighton spelled exactly how you think you would spell it? It's B-R-I-G-H-T-O-N. Okay. Brighton. And then I found a couple of small things. I'll just run through real quick. Uh, found a little Care Bear. I don't know if you can see a little Care Bear. Uh, found a Briar horse. So, there was other horses there, but this was the only Briar one. Um, remember these? Yeah, we, did you just sell them? Yeah, I just sold these. I sold a lot of them. This one actually has a little ghost mask. face mask. Um, has a little ghost face mask so it's a little doll and they come with a little stand and stuff and i just sold a lot a lot of them maybe like a month ago it's a little kelly doll yeah mm -hmm. um so that's found that i was hoping i would be able to find more but there oh. wasn't any more um found a littlest pet shop found one of these duplo guys um 
little, I don't know, I figured Monique would like this little, it's a little, uh, what's it called? Oh what? yeah, the ones that have the glittery wings. It's not like a Shopkins or anything. No, but it's, I forgot the name of it, Hatchimal. Yeah, it's a Hatchimal. Oh, Hatchimal. Oh, okay. yeah. And then I found these um, missiles here, these yellow missiles. And these go to uh, Imagine Next, uh, the Batman ones. And I just sold a lot of these missiles on eBay also. So I saw these in a Ziploc bag. I was all right, ready to go. So I got that. And then probably my favorite find is the sweet VW um, bus uh, Hot Wheel. It's like a drag, like a drag bus, you know? Is that how it sounds? Yeah. So I was like, oh, cool. So, and this was in the new... Um, the new uh, rotation, so I got it. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I got. Money got more stuff though. Heck yeah, man. Um, I found some clear address labels. These labels always come in handy for us. I found a Betsy Johnson jewelry box. Um, it is plastic, but it's still it's in good shape. It has like a little pink cushion on top, and then on the inside, it's like leopard print. And then it has the little cushion in there still that matches. So maybe it was like for a bracelet or a watch or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I just thought it was cool. Like I know some people look. collect Betsy Johnson stuff. What? What is? Is it just jewelry that they do? No, they do all kinds of stuff. She does like fashion and all kinds of things. Oh, okay. That's a cool little box. Mostly like fashion stuff, I guess. Ivan's gonna be my assistant. Oh yeah, I forgot I found this mug too. This It's a Mickey over the years mug. It was in really good condition, so I decided to pick it up. Even though I'm, try I'm trying not to pick up any more mugs. And I think, I think it's older because it's made in Japan. Oh really? Yeah. And then I got this, uh, which one is it? Elsa? No, Anna. It's Anna. And it still works. It sings. Okay. All right. Um, I got a meat tenderizer. Okay, so I found this little toy. I thought it was interesting. And it's marked Made in Japan. Pogo Possum, 1969, Walt Kelly. That's interesting, no? So that's what it's marked on the bottom. Is it Walt Kelly? Yes. The bootleg Walt Disney? Is it? <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm just saying because of the name. 1969 Pogo Possum. I don't know. I just thought it was, I mean, either way, it's old. Yeah. And then I found one of these. I used to have these when I was little. And I used to have the little house also. What are these called? Little people. Little My mom always something. called them, um, she was wrong, but she called them uh, Weeble Wobbles. But those mm -hmm. were the other ones. Anyway, I had one of these. And then I found a vintage Tupperware. Um, I believe these are called Munchkins. So I think you would put like salad dressing or something in there. I don't know. These are the older ones. Like the pastel colors are older. Found a bunch of like Hello Kitty, Sanrio, McDonald's toys, but I thought they were cute. This is a My Melody teacup. And then I got this little um, Hello Kitty and the little teddy bear, and they like rotate on this thing. And then a little tray. Oh, and then I got this um, Avery label tape. It's a refill, and I actually have the little label gun, so I'm going to put it together with that. And then I found a bell. I just thought she was, like, in an interesting pose, and I thought it would be cool, like, even as a cake topper. And then I got... I got a little Sebastian, and he has, like, a wheel underneath of him, and he moves. And a little Shopkin, um, what is this, a hair dryer? I think it's like a hair dryer. Shopkin. And then I got a bunch of like uh, Barbie accessories. So I got a little doctor kit, a little helmet for a bicycle or whatever. I got some little purses. These might not, not be Barbie accessories, but I thought they were cool. Got a little hairbrush. A little um, pet food tray thing 
I got a frisbee. <laughs> I got a little yellow shoe. I don't know if it's gonna focus. And then just a random top, but it looks older because of the that closure there. So I thought that was interesting. And then just a little skirt. Because I have some naked Barbies that need clothes that I want to sell. And that's it. So that's it guys. That's everything we got today at the Fort Worth Bins here in Twixus. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.